Today, we are looking into what has been killing off all of the bald eagles. Here's a hint. Uh, it's humanity. <laughs> The journey for bald eagles in North America has been a wild one. For more than a century, humans hunted them to near extinction. Not only was hunting a big issue, but we later found that a very powerful insecticide we were using was causing the eggs of eagles to become so fragile, they just broke when the birds sat on them. It was the insecticide DDT, or dichlorodiphenyl trichthane developed in the 1940s and used for crop and livestock protection, but it ended up in the prey that the eagles were gobbling up. Luckily, it was banned in 1972, the same year they put the bald eagle on the endangered species list. Thanks to wildlife conservation efforts, the numbers have increased substantially. As of 2009, we now have roughly 316,000 bald eagles, with 70,000 of them as active mating couples. For comparison, in the late 60s, there were only 500 pairs. That's quite an improvement. Unfortunately, a recent study from Cornell Lab of Ornithology found that many of our bird populations have dropped around one-third in the last 50 years. They are at an increased risk of extinction due to the warming climate. So, even the bird scientists agree that the planet is warming and that it's a danger to all life. Cool. <laughs> but today's video is not even about any of that. It's actually in regards to something else that has been killing them. Something that we have been aware of since 1994 but couldn't figure out the details of until now. Back in 94, 29 bald eagles died of unknown causes. In 1996, another 26 died all in the same area of DeGray Lake in Arkansas. After loads of testing on these 55 birds, the results were terrifying. All of the lab reports came back normal. No toxins, no bacteria, and no virus. The only thing that made these birds unique is that they were dying in large numbers. But thanks to light microscopy, scientists were able to find widespread lesions in the white matter of their brains and spinal cords. They showed up as empty spaces, which it's really weird, uh, super weird actually, because they had no idea why this would suddenly happen to so many birds. They ended up calling it avian vacuolar myelinopathy. <laughs> Unable to figure this out meant this AVM would spread across the US affecting many species of birds. This happened for more than 20 years. With all of the data they had been collecting on this, uh, someone managed to notice a pattern. They were all dying during the fall and winter near lakes that all happened to have a specific plant called Hydrilla verticillata, which is an aquatic plant that isn't even a native species. After further inspection, they found Eutychnothus hydrocola. I think I nailed it. It's a cyanobacterium, which I'll put up here because I didn't know what it was until after I edited this video. That was weird. To keep from getting too sciency with too many complicated words, Latin or something, basically these plants were containing large amounts of a new toxin that only happened because they were in a specific area with specific environmental conditions like the low temperatures of the fall and winter. They named this new toxin, uh, which is Greek for poison that kills the eagle. Um, oh, and bromine is an important word that you need to jot down. After researchers discovered all of this, they still needed to figure out how this was really happening. What was the true unidentified ingredient creating this toxin? Well, remember that plant I brought up and how it wasn't a native species? Well, it came from India and was originally sold as an aquarium plant, but later outlawed because it was so invasive. In order to control it from spreading any further, we decided to eliminate it with herbicides. Those herbicides contained bromine. Bromine? Bromine. We now know increases the production of that word. <laughs> the poison that kills birds. So to recap, invasive plant species that we brought into the country, attempted to kill it with herbicides, uh, causes a reaction that then kills off the symbol of the United States of America? <sighs> I mean, if that isn't the most American thing I have ever heard. <sighs> well, check out this video to learn how dogs can detect all kinds of diseases. 
And as always, thanks for watching and what did you learn today?